morning. <clears throat> 25th of August 2017. About 5 to 7 in the morning. Cheers. This is a quick introduction to a video that I'm going to put together. Um, what it is, is on my way to work in late spring, summer and autumn, sometimes I, instead of going down the road, I like to go down the canal walk. Especially if it's dry, if it's wet, if it's been raining or there's hard dew, no, because it's basically grass so you get soaked. soaked. So, I dis I've been talking to Joe about this and so I decided to put a video together of the walk down different areas of interest uh, etc it's just basically a ramble me doing a bit of talking the canal is called the Chesterfield Canal it runs from the River Trent uh, which is a tidal river a navigable river you will see the river right and it's, it's, it's it's, it's not a navigable river but the River Trent and it's theoretically it goes all the way up to um, Chesterfield theoretically it's called the Chesterfield Canal it doesn't actually reach there anymore uh, I think there's still water coming through but you can't travel through it some of the bridges due to not being used have caved in they're talking about trying to get them reopened but like anything else with these sort of things it's money unfortunately on the way to work we didn't see much wildlife but we saw a duck and we saw some horses and you will see that the I don't know if when you get to the River Trent, I don't know if there's a lock there so the barges, canal barges can go onto the River Trent. Uh, the, that says the River Trent is navigable uh, and it is tidal. Uh, I don't know when it is, but we have a bore. B-O-R-E. It's one of these where it's a high tide and you get like this massive wave go down the River Trent. People do actually surf on it. I'll see if I can find a video, put in the link to the description. I'm sure there's one on YouTube. There will be one on YouTube, the River Trent Bore. But I don't know if the canal boats are allowed on the River Trent. We will see. I, I will see if I can find out. Then I'll do a quick walk on my way to work. Once I come off the canal area and I talk about a bridge there. And I talk about uh, Clumber Park. And I, I haven't looked, but I'll put it in the description. As I've said before, round works out with classes, the Dukeries. Lots of Duke, big estates owned by Dukes. The, most of them now sort of owned by the National Trust. Well, I say owned. I don't know if they're still... Uh, if they're outrightly owned by the National Trust or National Trust working partnerships with the Duke and if the Duke still owns them. Clumber Park is a very nice park. Got a real old fashioned boating lake and the old um, that mansion place is burnt down but there's still areas still left. Beautiful church there, Clumber Chapel. Beautiful, beautiful. So, once this is finished compiling, because at the moment it's, it's doing it down there, I'll put all this together and let you have a look. Okie doke. Right, here we are then. We're down a little side street, you come into this little park area here. And go through this hole in the wall here. Mm. 
Well, it got bent down a bit. <clears throat> and here we are on the canal. You go that way to the right, you go into the town. And if you go this way, the way I go, takes you on to my way to the works. Gentleman's just passing me. In the preamble, I talk about where it goes. So, we'll have a walk and see what we can see. Sun's right behind that building. See if I can get into shade a bit. It's better. That building there is the old Surridge Works pump house. Structurally sound, a bit unsafe inside. They were talking about knocking it down. But it's it's listed building, so they can't knock it down. Um, <coughs> right. <coughs> we have running underneath the canal the River Wrighton. It's not a big river. I know, Joe, you would probably call it a ditch. It runs underneath there. It's only a small river, it's not a tidal river. It runs underneath there. About time they dredged it again, getting a lot of reeds and stuff like this. And then, to give you some idea of how much distance I save by coming down the canal, I says in the preamble, I've done a bit of a preamble. So if I go across there, can't see it until I zoom in. Is it? That signpost is where the road goes. I think it knocks off about 10 minutes, quarter an hour. That there, I don't know why it is, it's part of the river, but then it joins into the canal. There's a walkway around, but it's heavily overgrown. He's a back of some small factory units. Get all sorts of wildlife on here. I don't know if we'll get any today. That's what annoys me. People using the canal as a dumping ground for rubbish. You'll see a lot of that. Come down here, I've seen ducks, geese, swans, more hens, herons. On paths I've seen foxes. Usually that's early in the morning though, foxes. <clears throat> now that there, 
that building there is the old Manton Pit Miners Welfare. When Manton Pit closed down, changed the name to Manton Sports and Social Club. Don't know if I'm happy with that. It's basically getting rid of a bit of your heritage, but that's the decision they made. And they do have some quite good fields. Football fields, cricket fields and stuff like that. One of the locks. Oh, this is a, it's all right. I'm trying to watch where I walk as well because it's not exactly paved area. One of the locks with the signs. But then again, it's amazing how many people you see on here. Across there is an overflow like a weir, uh, dare I go across, uh, you can see it's not exactly a wide foot bridge, It's like a weir effect. There's another view of the club and playing fields. I'm looking the lock area. So that has a weird effect. Oh. Oops. <clears throat> Thank God for a strap on the camera. Oh. One thing about where I live, I live roughly over there. Within five minutes, you're into the countryside. I won't exactly call this a countryside, but well, yeah, it is really. But it's a nice, peaceful walk. I says, hope we see some some sort of wildlife. Hang on, just got a sweet in my mouth, and it's just crunched. And that, you know that thing I said about the thing, it comes out roughly there, where that overflow. You do get boats more, mooring up in these places. Where it used to be businesses, it's now pleasure boats. Right. Uh, do, 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 do. There is a substation there. I can get in shot. And up there, I've actually seen deer. Now, I'm not talking the great big deer. I'm talking about the small ones. Is, is it fallow, roe deer or whatever? Again, people throwing rubbish in the canal. It does annoy me, this. Oh, we've got a football match on. That looks a bit. Oh, 
Right, let me move down a bit because... Right. Go past, now is this going to work? If we go past there... Them pillars there, just can make them behind that, is the entrance to the cemetery. That's where my mum and dad's buried. But yeah, but like, like I said, within sort of five minutes, I'm into the countryside. That there is the new sewerage works. Sewerage works, pump house, etc. Great place for fishermen, but obviously they've got to be wary of that sort of thing. And even though close to the road, yeah, there's shouting from the footballers, but when, when they're not playing, it is actually a quite quiet walk down here. Again, fields area. That there has got like horses, donkeys and stuff in, what somebody's bought. So I'm just watching where I'm ste stepping because it's, like I said, it's not exactly easiest. You do get people walking down here with dogs, joggers, bikers. I mean, push bikes, not motorbikes. All rushes. There are some natural, well, I presume the natural ponds around on that side. Let's have a go at something there. Well, that looks like we're out of luck with the ducks on more hens. You usually see them down here. Obviously, being near the water, you get lots of flies and stuff, midges. And then you come to these units here, again small factory units but most of them being took over by car salespeople like that one there. It's uh, it's uh, oh you read it from Bob upwards, <laughs> I tried to read it from top downwards, Motor Depot. Oh dear, <laughs> the brain. No canal barges on either. There were two or three on yesterday. Uh, two on yesterday. But one was further down.
Like I said in the preamble, this way goes to Retford, all the way down to the Trent. Other ways up to Chesterfield, even though, like I said, it's not exactly navigable anymore that far up. It's a nice walk, especially in the summer. Sorry about the shaking of the camera, but it says it isn't exactly level. Hang on, just let me go. These people get past. Another car depot. What's interesting about this is just there, it didn't like a wall or anything, it's just like a curbstone. And I've always wondered if anybody's actually backed in at some time into the canal in one of these brand new cars. Whoops. <laughs> Be interesting to find out if that's ever happened. Right, down here. The other day, I saw an otter. Don't think the fishermen would be very happy with it because people do fish on the canal, but there was an otter and I know it was an otter. You can tell by the shape of the face. And it was just below here. And then trees are there. The only problem is with an otter, even though they have an area, they can move up and down the canal, wherever. When I saw it, I was roughly here, beneath these branches, and it was plain it was playing, oh, jumping up, diving up and down, literally in front of that reed batch there. But when it saw me darting underneath there, I 
might be out of luck. Pity. It'd been great to have got that on video. No. 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 <clears throat> Not seen much wildlife, seen plenty of pigeons, but not exactly exciting things, pigeons. Turn around this way. That's the surge works, but like I said, you can see ponds and stuff. Because there's reed batches and stuff like that. Even the donkeys aren't out. Well, I'll be blowed. Right, stop here a second and I'll pan up there. That used to be the old pit spoiler, uh, spoil area. Mountain pits just a bit further down, I'll show you in a second. Uh, used to smoke like hell, especially on cold days, you can see steam running over it. One morning I'll tell you a story, it'll only be about a five minute story about an accident that happened on there with somebody. Probably do that Sunday morning. But yeah, we're not having much luck for wildlife. But wildlife is just one of them things. It it doesn't perform to expectations. Now tomorrow when I come down here, it'll probably be full of wildlife. No more in, well, no even river barges. This is where the river um, canal barge was parked up the other day as well. Again, those markers there. details of it Now that road there, when I get in it, used to be the entrance to the Manton Pit. Manton Pit used to be where that Home Depot, well it's a warehouse now, is. B&Q is like a home improvement centre thing. Uh, I'm not sure where the pit head shaft used to be. I think it was roughly where that wind turbine was, but I'm, I mean you're talking 80 odd when it closed down, so I'm not sure. But at least we've got the horses out. The horses are always out. With the two young 
this year's foals. There's a duck. Oh, we've seen a duck. We've seen a duck. Bit late catching it, but we saw a duck. And here are the horses. The horses. Those are the two foals from this year. Now, round the corner is something that puzzles me. And it's this wall. Get underneath this here to show you. First off the design of it is old, it's old and to be honest I don't know what used to be here but what it's reminiscent of if you watch my video about the works at Priory it's a similar sort of stone and similar sort of design. Oh dear! <laughs> but it's definitely old brickwork and old design. Now, I know the works at Priory State, when it was a monastery, was a massive thing, it was a big thing. So I don't know if, I don't think it's part of the Priory, but I'm wondering if it's, or because of the, the type of brick it is, I'm wondering if when the monastery was dissolved, if it, if some bright entrepreneur decided, ooh, that brick looks good, I'll, I think I'll add some of that. Don't know. And then we're back to the river again. The river roughly follows the same line as the um, canal. Right. That bridge there is the railway bridge. If, as you're looking at the picture, if you go left, that's the way to uh, Worksop. If you go right, it's on the way to Retford, Lincoln, Gainsborough, that way on. And there again, looks like it's practically dried up is one of the ponds. That's fairly well dried up. Oh, 
was hoping to see a train. Oh, beautiful sunset. We've got to do an artifarty shot, haven't we? It's all right, I thought I heard a train come in. Thought I heard a train. Probably not. Now, uh, them trees and stuff round there, on the other side of the road, see, them trees there. When I first started at this job, they were just small saplings, so it amazes me how quickly nature can take, reclaim land. Oh, the um, llamas are not out. Well, that would have been a great shot to have llamas out. Oh, we've got a canal boat. We have a canal boat. We have a canal boat. It's just an overflow for the canal into the river. But we have a canal boat. Fisherman, <laughs> hello. Are you all right? Ah, not too bad. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> and this is again graffiti. Why? Oh, the llamas are out. And if you carry on down there takes you to Retford and Newark that way on and the llamas are out well I presume the llamas now this is where I rejoin the road. Go on to work. Hang on. Let's see if I can get in on them. Come on. Where's the other one? Come here. Thought I saw the other one as well. Oh, he's right at back there. <whistles> so the llamas are out. There's one at back of there. I presume the llamas. I presume the llamas they look like llamas to me. <laughs> So that's the walk down the canal. What I'm going to do is there's one more shot I want to show you. And then I'll get a couple of shots on the way back home tomorrow.
tomorrow morning after work after work Oops. caught it that's why I wanted to show you the bridge it's a railway bridge it's a spur off the line I'm going to get very noisy because traffic's coming past And that used to go into Manton Pit Top for the coal wagons to pick up coal for the power stations, etc. There is a walk round that you can take round the pit top. It's not all that impressive, you just walk through a few trees and stuff like that. If you carry on down here, straight to round the roundabout, straight on and turn left it takes you down to Clumber Park one of the National Trust Estates part of the Dukeries and I don't know if it's still owned or was owned, it was owned by the Duke of Portland I think Duke of Portland I'll have a check and see if I can find out and put it in the description Paper. Well, again, all this used to just be little saplings when I first started. I said, soon takes hold. Other people going to work. Other people coming home from work, I presume. Lucky them. Down here, they have actually created another walk round. That you can walk around part of Manton Pit area, but it takes you the back way into Clumber Park. That's our entrance there. It's now called Manton Pit Wood. So I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to turn the corner here, go up to work and then I'll film some stuff on the way home tomorrow, it's got plenty of charge left and do a separate video of a couple of things to show you on the way home. Okay,